I just want her to be okay. We do not have any evidence that she has tried to make contact with her family. Come on, baby. I mean, come on, sweetheart. I mean, you know, we'll work out, you know, some of the issues that came through, but just come home. Stay woke. Baby's creeping. Don't you Hi guys, I'm Leah Nicole. If you're new, welcome. So today I wanted to talk about the mysterious disappearance of a 16 year old girl caught on her home camera. She was seen running out of her house barefoot and only wearing pink pajamas. She was clearly in distress. Since February 1st, 2024, she has never been seen again. This is the case of Asada Amin. Asada Amin was a 16 year old from Connecticut who later moved to Beaufort, Georgia. Now Asada was described as very kind and smart. She did well in school and had her mind set on a bright future. She grew up with both of her parents, Jasmine and Kabina Amman. Even though Asada had her head on straight, her home life was a bit chaotic. Jasmine told Asada that she and her father was getting a divorce because Kabina was physically violent with her. Jasmine just wanted her daughter to be in an environment that was really healthy to her. When it was time for Jasmine to take legal action regarding her divorce, the court surprisingly sided with Kabina. As a result, Asada and her two other sisters were actually forced to move in with him full time and could only see their mother on weekends. Unfortunately, Asada had a hard time seeing her mother though because once Kabina received full custody, he decided to move from Connecticut all the way to Buford, Georgia. Once Asada moved to Georgia, things started to spiral out of control. She began feeling at school and became more distant from her family. Asada constantly called her mother crying and begging her to come and get her. But due to the legal agreement, nothing could be done. As Asada struggled with this change, her father often threatened her and told her that she was going to go to military school if she didn't get back on track. Things didn't change for the better though at all because on February 2nd, 2024, Asada mysteriously disappeared. But before we jump into today's case, I want to take a moment to thank Aura for sponsoring today's video. Have you ever Googled your name and found all of your personal information online, such as your address, phone number, or even emails on public listing websites? It can be quite frustrating, not to mention the spam messages and annoying phone numbers that come along with it. Well, with Aura, you don't have to worry about that anymore. With Aura, all of that will be fixed. Aura is able to identify brokers who expose your information online. The Aura app gives you control over your personal data, offers parental controls, run antivirus software, runs VPNs, and provides identity theft insurance on all of your devices. Aura is always on working hard to keep my personal information safe, allowing me to focus on other tasks with peace of mind. I know one of the reasons I get so many spam texts and calls is because big companies can't keep our data safe. Recently, Ticketmaster was hacked and the data of 560 million users were put up for sale on the dark web. The data stolen includes full names, addresses, email addresses, phone numbers, and even credit card data. At best, this is going to lead to so much more spam, at worst fraud. So what is Ticketmaster doing about it? Nothing. They said they didn't think the hack would have a material impact on our overall business. All these businesses happily collect our data but do nothing to protect it and that's why I use Aura. I'm not leaving myself and my family vulnerable to data breaches and if you don't want to either, you can go to Aura.com slash Leah and try your first two weeks for free and go ahead and check the link in the description box below. Stop leaving yourself vulnerable to data breaches and see if any of your data has been exposed. Thank you again so much, Aura, for sponsoring today's video, and let's jump back into today's case.
On February 1st, Asada and her dad had a huge fight about her progress in school. Kabina told Asada that if she didn't change her ways, she would be sent off to military school. After that conversation, Asada ran out of the house. Kabina told authorities that he only realized Asada had left the house when he checked the camera footage in front of the home. After Asada ran away that night, Kabina called um, a few of Asada's friends to see if she maybe had stopped over there. But when none of them could confirm that Asada was over there, he then called the police. On February 2nd, 2024, the very next day, detectives wanted to know if Asada often ran away. Her father said that this was the first time. They also found it very strange though that Asada left the house without shoes. They wanted to learn more about Asada's relationship with her family. Her running away barefoot made detectives think she might have been running for her life. Missing for more than three months, believes she left home because she was not happy. Asada Amun's father denies that, saying the teen was doing well at home and at school. In a Channel 2 Action News exclusive, we traveled from Atlanta all the way to Connecticut to track down the girl's mother and talk to her about the search. Channel 2's Tom Jones is live in Gwinnett County, and he's been the only reporter digging for details on this story. Tom. Yeah, Linda, police say it is extremely unlikely that after more than three months, still no one has heard from Asada after she left her home in this neighborhood. We also learned that she left her home with no shoes on. Police say that mother says that she just wants her daughter home. I just want her to be okay. Jasmine Dominique says she is worried sick over the disappearance of her 16-year-old daughter, Asada Amun. Asada has been missing more than three months. If she ran away and she's safe, I'm fine with it. I don't want to think about anything negative. Gwinnett County police say Asada's father reported her missing after his video doorbell recorded her running from their home in Sugar Hill. Police say she left with no shoes on and pink pajama pants. Kwabina Amun said his daughter had been having disciplinary issues and left after he mentioned sending her to a military academy. Anytime I'm eating dinner, we're eating dinner, I'm looking to see if she's going to be, you know, hitting the ring doorbell. We traveled out of state to interview Asada's mother. Dominique says her daughter ran away before because she wasn't happy at home. She says Asada called her or texted her then. And then she called and she told me that, please come and get me. I don't want to stay with him. This time. This time she didn't call me. She didn't text me. She didn't do nothing. I honestly don't know what happened. Asada's father says she was taking advanced courses at school and other than her disciplinary issues, her home life was good. He chalked up the claims by his ex as the residue of a messy divorce. I have my kids, you know, and my wife doesn't. Police say it's extremely unusual for a child to disappear this long without talking to anyone. We do not have any evidence that she has tried to make contact with her family, friends, or anyone else since the date of her disappearance. Dominique says nothing would make her happier than to hear from her daughter. I just want her to be safe. That's all I want. And police say they have issued search warrants in this case. They've interviewed the father. They say they still consider this a missing persons case. And they are exploring every avenue to get Asada home. So detectives open an official investigation regarding Asada's disappearance. Days turned into weeks and there were still no sign of Asada. The family reached out to the media to bring more awareness to Asada's case, but the lack of media attention caused the case to just grow colder. After six long months, it wasn't until July that detectives started to consider Kabina as a potential suspect. On June 14th, 2024, a warrant was obtained by the Gwinnett Police Department. It was revealed that Cabana had a history of abuse and allegations of mistreating his children. He also wasn't really trying to work with the police regarding his daughter's disappearance and honestly refused to hand over her cell phone. The warrant states that they seized Asada's doll, gardening tools, pair of shoes, and Cabana's car. 
Detectives also use Blue Star technology to look for dried or cleaned up blood, but it's unclear if they ever found evidence of blood anywhere. After detectives received a warrant to search Asada's cell phone, they were shocked to find no call logs or text messages. This was definitely suspicious because Asada used her cell phone and texted her sisters. Even after Asada's disappearance, her sisters used her phone. So the phone being completely wiped out was extremely odd. The warrant also revealed that as Asada ran away from home back in February, home video shows her father yelling after her. He says, quote, so are you just going to run like a coward? Even with this information, Cabana has not been labeled as an official suspect. Says when Asada left home here that day, she was headed in the direction of a friend's home, but no one has seen her since, and it's been three months. Just want her to be safe. We want her to come back home. Quabina Amun says he has no idea where his 16-year-old daughter Asada Amun is. And he says it is stressful knowing she's been missing more than three months. If somebody knocks on the door, you're wondering if that's her? Of course. Wouldn't you? If the phone rings, you're wondering. Wouldn't you? If the police call, you're wondering. Wouldn't you? Asada disappeared February 1st, a day before the single father says she had gotten into trouble at North Gwinnett High School. There was, um, you know, some chronic issues that were going on and Military Academy was looked at as a solution. He says Asada didn't like that idea. He says his video doorbell then captured her running from the house. And she left and... In the direction that she left, I thought that she looked like she was going to a friend's house. No friends have seen her, and police say there have been no reported sightings of Asada anywhere. There have not been any social media posts. There have been no phone calls from the child that we are aware of. Amun says he doesn't know if his daughter is safe or what's going on. He just wants her home. Oh, come on, baby. I mean, come on, sweetheart. I mean, you know, we'll work out, you know, some of the issues that came through, but just come home. And the father is asking anyone with any information to give police a call. Police say it is highly unusual for a teen to go missing for three months and there's not a trace of her. We're live in Gwinnett County. Asada's mother, Jasmine, says she finds what is in this search warrant disturbing. She said, quote, if you are not cooperating, then you are hiding something. Jasmine, who still currently lives in Connecticut, said she was not surprised to hear the exchange with her ex-husband about her daughter being a coward. She said, quote, I feel like he's a coward. Everything that he does, he's a coward. Detectives also had probable cause to believe that Asada and her two sisters were victims of first-degree child cruelty. That's after detectives looked at numerous reports where Cabana is accused of abusing his three children for years. Now, as of August 2024, this month, Asada's case is still unsolved and she has been missing for about six months now. And the details surrounding her case is very suspicious. And unfortunately, it's sad that this case has not received a lot of media attention. I think I only seen this case one time on Instagram. Um, and that was it. Something ain't right about this entire case regarding Asada Amun and her father, Kwabina Amun. Now, the mother speaking, you know, and I'm just looking at everything and in my gut, in my spirit, deep down inside, I feel this man has done something to his daughter, and I feel that he's trying to hide a lot of stuff. He know he done messed up. The chickens have come home to roost, and I'm just looking at everything. I just found out today that they issued a search warrant for his home and his car. They took his garden tools. Uh, they searched the home. They tried to get the cell phone. He done deleted. it. He done wiped clean everything on this little girl's cell phone. He's wiped it clean. He's hiding some stuff of what he's done. He's going to jail. They're going to put handcuffs on him. Watch. When it comes to him, I want you to remember when I said this in my last video. Something is not right. The milk stinks and the water stinks. I'll let you guys know uh, as soon as I find out more, but I'm going to keep saying it. Something is not right about this entire thing. She left the house in pink pajamas, no shoes on, like she was running for her life. Something is not right. And he's done something to her. And he's trying to hide the fact that he has. It got out of control. 
Maybe he was scared. This is allegedly. Maybe he was scared that she was going to tell on him for some more dire stuff that's a lot deeper down a rabbit hole that would have got him locked up for life. Maybe, just maybe. And she called and she told me that, please come and get me. I don't want to stay with him. This time she didn't call me. She didn't text me. She didn't do nothing. I honestly don't know what happened. The sheriff's department is investigating in the Atlanta area and says it's unusual for a child to disappear this long without talking to anyone. We do not have any evidence that she has tried to make contact with her family, friends, or anyone else since the date of her disappearance. But she ran away and she's safe. I'm fine with it. I don't want to think about anything negative. Warrant and affidavit where police say the father of 16-year-old Asada Amon has been uncooperative. And there are several reports that he abused his kids. If you not being cooperative then you're hiding something he's been abusing them ever since i was we were together but the warrant indicates school counselors contacted defect saying two of the kids were afraid to go home out of fear their father would beat them for getting into trouble the warrant indicates amon didn't want to hand over asada's cell phone and when detectives got a search warrant for it there were no call logs text or data on it even though detectives say asada's sisters used it after she left I feel like he's trying to cover himself. But any father that is a girl dad, you're going to go crazy trying to find your child. You're not going to sit up here and try to hide stuff, delete stuff, man, and, and act like you acted on that TV interview. No, we're not going to do that. You, you, some, something is not right about you. And like I said before, the milk stinks and the water stinks. Let's pray that they find Asada. Pray for her mom and her sisters. Like I said, we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to keep digging because it don't look right. Corbina, you need to go ahead and tell what's going on. Where's your daughter at? Where's Asada? What did you do to her? We're going to keep asking. We're going to keep pressing. Asada's family, they're desperately seeking answers. Asada never mentioned running away before. So they are very hopeful that someone may come forward with information that could help locate her. Asada is 5 feet and 2 inches tall. She weighs 115 pounds and has black hair and brown eyes. She was last seen wearing a white shirt and black pants. There are several theories suggesting that Asada's father is highly suspicious and may be responsible for her disappearance. His history of abuse, refusal to cooperate with the police, and the suspicious deletion of call logs and text messages from Asada's phone call log points to questionable behavior. And his overall conduct during the investigation have raised concerns among detectives and honestly the public. So guys, let me know what you guys think regarding this case. Please, please keep Asada's family in your prayers. Keep her in your prayers, y'all. I just pray that the truth comes to light with this case because all I keep thinking about is no 16 year old girl is gonna run out of her home barefoot with just her pajamas on if she wasn't in fear. Especially knowing as well that her two other siblings was inside the house also. So for her to just storm out like that, I feel like that's not normal. She wasn't known to be a runaway. She was fine back home in Connecticut. You know, she didn't run away. Even though the, even though the house probably was chaotic, um, she still had her mom. It looked like, it looked like Jasmine really tried to keep the family you know grounded try to keep her girls grounded and together and it's sad because she begged her mom to you know she begged her mom to come get her so that's a clear sign that asada was not happy in that home and i just pray that more details begin to come out this case is still fresh it's still very much new but i'm surprised that this case has not received any media attention especially because there's footage out so y'all just please keep this family in your prayers and i hope that whatever happened in that house comes to light because one thing about god he's gonna bring it to light whether it's now whether it's weeks from now whether it's months months from now whether it's years from now one thing about god he's gonna bring it to light so we just need to Go ahead and uplift this family, uplift Asada right now. We don't know um, if she's still out there, but just lifting up this case in prayer, it would go a long way. So Father God, we come to you and we pray for this family right now. 
we ask you, Lord God, to just bring the truth to this case, Lord. Whatever was in the dark, I ask you, Father, Lord God, to expose it and bring light to it, Lord. Any hands on this case that does not need to work on this case, any detectives that is lazy on this case, anybody that doesn't want to put in 100% on this case, Father, Lord God, I ask you that you take them away and bring in people that wants to find out the truth. We uplift Asada right now to you, Father God. We ask you, Lord, to just protect her. I ask you, Lord God, that if anyone is responsible for her disappearance, I ask you, Lord God, that the truth will come out. I ask for rest and peace for Jasmine, Lord God, and her sisters, Lord. I ask you, Father, Lord God, to just bring this family rest and peace, Lord. Let them know that they're able to confide in you during this time, Lord God, because every situation you use to bring us closer to you, Father, Lord God. So I just ask you, Lord God, that they're able to just be grounded in you, that they're able to meet you. I pray, Father God, that you show up in their bedroom right now, Lord God, while they're sleeping, when they wake up in the bathroom, Father God, while they're getting ready to go to work, while they're getting ready to go to school. I ask you, Lord God, to meet them, meet them in their dreams, Lord God. Meet them and let them know that you will hold them underneath. You will hold them in your wings, Lord God, according to Psalms Psalms 91, Lord. You would hold them that they, they don't even need to fear the terrors of night because you have it all figured out already. So I just ask you, Lord God, to keep this family in your hands. And while they're confused, while they're grieving, hold them in your hands, Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus over every subscriber, every viewer, Lord, that's watching this video. I ask you, Father, Lord God, that every teenager that's watching this video, Lord, you protect them and you cover them. As we go into the new school year right now, Father, Lord God, that ask that for your blood, that the blood of Jesus pours over them from the top of their head to their feet. Protect them while they're walking to the bus stops. Protect them while they're walking home from school and going to school. Protect them while they're driving to school, Father, Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children, Lord. Guide them and correct them, Lord. Every kid, Father God, right now that is watching these videos that's dealing with abuse at home, I ask you, Father God, that you find them a way out because they are yours before they belong to their parents. Our kids belong to you first before they belong to us, Lord. So we give them up to you so that you're able to protect them, that you're able to have grace and mercy over their life, Lord God, that they're able to walk walk towards you every single day I, I ask you father lord god that any kids right now that is watching this video lord god that is struggling to be obedient to their parents lord let them know that the way to a long life is to be obedient to their parents lord god give them grace and give them mercy when they're going out to new parties new events lord god Protect them and guide them. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you're about to do with this case. We thank you, Lord God, for the truth that will come out regarding this case. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please keep Asada's family in your prayers. Keep her in your prayers. And we're just going to trust in God that the truth will come to light. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next case video.